Hello friends, in this video we shall see how you can debug a project in the NetBeans. Debugging is a very essential part of a professional project or application development. The NetBeans IDE provides a debug menu for you to perform the debugging operations. What is essentially debugging, debugging is to try and find the location where you have any error or, or, or a bug in your program. Okay, it is not a question of any syntax error because if there is any syntax error, the program won't run. Okay, but when you run the program, seemingly an incorrect behavior or output is you know displayed by the project. That's where the debugging process comes comes into picture, right? So, in order to debug the program, right click on the project name and choose debug from the pop-up or use the debug from the toolbar itself. Okay. Before doing that, you have to ensure, you have to be very strategically deciding what actually you want to find out. Okay. All throughout the program or through the entire program, you would like to find out or you would like to know what is the type of, what is the value of one or two or one or more than one variables that the value, how it is changing as the program process, you know, progresses what is the value that is acquired by a particular expression whether that is according to our expectation or not you have to keep track on that okay that is called as watch and in order to watch you will have to halt or pause the program intermittently at very strategic positions okay so that is a you know part of the process that you have to think over it think over it what are the expressions that you want to watch? What are the expressions that you want to track through the entire program? And what are the places where you want the program to stop or halt or pause? Okay, so that you have to first decide beforehand and then go to your editor wherein, where the source program is written and first using the debug menu create, you know, create certain watches watches on the expressions and then at more one or more than points apply the breakpoints. So apply the breakpoints and create watches that is your first step. Then click the debug uh, you know toolbar or right click and choose debug from the pop up. What happens at the first breakpoint the program execution will pause. Incidentally as soon as you click on the debug in the explorer window you know that there is a project window there is a files window there is a services window etc if you have chosen to debug the program a debugging window will also appear and at the first breakpoint the debugging window will show you in which line the the program has paused okay and if you have applied certain watches what will happen in the output window which is at the bottom there will be a variables window. If you open that variable window, it will show you the instantaneous value of the expressions or the variables which you have set. Okay. The value, the, the name of the expression or variable and the value. Just check whether the value that is being shown is according to your expectation or not. Right. Go to the next step. If you let the program continue, there is a continue button also press continue it will stop at the next breakpoint again continue at the next breakpoint every time when it pauses check the values of the variables or the expression what are the values of the expressions do they have the same value as per your expectation or not okay likewise the program will progress until it reaches the logical end so that's how you can debug your program if you find something is going wrong stop the debugger modify changes, perform certain changes in your program and again debug. So it is a, uh, you know, incremental activity, the debugging will have to be done more, more than once in your pro program. The bigger the program, more chances of bugs are there and this entire process may have to be repeated more than once until you are satisfied that the output of the program is exactly as per our requirement. 
Okay, so this is the debugging operation, very important part in the software development. So what I will do? One sample program I will take, project that is built in NetBeans, apply the watches, apply the breakpoints, and run through the program and see at different places what are the values of the watches that have been created. So that is a matter of my practical demonstration right in front of you. Now I will show you the demonstration of the debugging process of a NetBeans application. Actually you can see a debug menu in which all the facilities of debugging an application is uh, they are provided by the menu options. It basically performs two things in addition to all the other activities. The main idea is to keep a track of a certain variable one or more than one variables or expression all throughout the program and check the value of that particular expression or value intermittently as the program you know progresses you will check the value of that particular variable or expression at different locations in the program and see whether the variable or the expression carries the value ac according to your expectations or not. So that will help you in finding out whether the program is behaving correctly or not or are there any errors or bugs in your program. So that is basically the idea. So for that you have to first create a watch one or more than one watches and in order to inspect or verify the value of those watches those uh, you know variables on which you want the id to keep a watch on the values have to be checked for that the program must pause or halt inter intermittently in between uh, the execution so you have to apply the breakpoints so create watch watch or watches and apply breakpoint or breakpoints that is basically the idea that i will show you okay the example in front of you is very simple it is a simple uh, console application where the user is expected to input two uh, values one for the length other for the breadth and the output will be the area of a rectangle so if i straightforward run of the program will be very you know according to the very expected lines just enter the length enter the breadth the output will be given so this is a normal run but we have to run in the debug mode so before we run it in the debug mode first apply the watch and then apply the breakpoints so let us say that i want to keep an eye or keep watch on the value of the variable called l all throughout the program you can see that i have declared a variable int l and deliberately given the value of l is equal to 0 Okay, then the value that is input is stored in the variable L by parsing it into a numeric or integer variable and then it is used for calculation of A. Okay, so first step is to create a watch. Go in the debug menu, create a new watch and then enter L and just say OK. Okay, so the variable L is uh, you know created for watching right and then i apply two breakpoints one immediately below this for that purpose i have to go again in the debug menu and you say toggle line breakpoint so immediately you see a small rectangle here that means that it is a breakpoint and again apply another breakpoint in this line again go in the debug menu and toggle breakpoint you can even use the shortcut control and f8 so you can see that there are two breakpoints so this is the preparation that you have to do now you are, you are in a position to run the project in the debug mode so this is the button debug the project click on this or press control f5 so as soon as you click on this the debugging 
window appears in the explorer it has reached the first uh, breakpoint or first halt it is indicating that hello dot main line number 13 it is breaking at line number 13 okay at this point if you just go in the variables window you will see that this expression l shows l is equal to 0 okay by the time the program has reached this position it has created certain objects under the static category the, the object of the particular uh, hello class is also created arguments if at all you have given any command line arguments they will also be uh, seen in this okay and then initial variable l is equal to 0 is also set to be uh, the value set here right go in the output window the program is in the halt so you have to first let the program progress by pressing this continue button as soon as you press the continue the next statement will be executed it will system dot out dot print enter length is appearing I enter a certain length press enter 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 the breadth some number if I enter now the, I expect the program to halt at this breakpoint and the line number 23 okay let us see there you see it is it is breaking at line number 23 and if you again go to the watch now the values of L is equal to 11 B is equal to 12 they have been created okay this is the buffer reader object whose value is some uh, an object value is being sh shown here the type of the BR is again a B buffer reader okay so this is how you can keep the watch on the variables again go to the output window you let the program continue by pressing the continue button again the program will reach its logical end by showing build successful the, the execution or the run of the program is over immediately the break uh, the debugging window that was here that has now disappeared so that's that is a very useful feature of uh, debugging or trying to find out the errors or bugs in the program in order to do that you can use the facility of applying watches and creating the breakpoints so it was a very small but very effective demonstration of the debugging process